Hey guys, this is Shiro, and welcome to a novel recommendation, like a CNC novel recommendation, um, aka I will talk about I Shall Seal the Heavens this time, and you might have heard about it, you might have not, like I don't know what you hear about, but I'm gonna tell you the bad things and the good things about the story so far. Uh, actually, in the past few weeks I mostly didn't upload because of A, internet problems, and B, because I was reading 700 chapters of it, so right now I think I have a fair grasp of the story to kind of present to you. Now, what's the story about? Like, the story is about a young scholar called Meng Hao, and he is living in Yunji country, or however you pronounce that, seriously, I don't know. Here's the name. And one day he just, yeah, he's standing on top of a mountain, contemplating life. He already failed at the imperial examinations a few times, three times. Like, he wanted to be a high official and yeah, during an incident there he gets pulled into the world of cultivators and cultivators basically cultivate their bodies and souls to be stronger and to achieve in the long, like, in the ends to achieve immortality and power or whatever they're striving to do for. Like basically, cultivators in this world are really damn powerful and there's different stages of cultivation. Um, he gets pulled into that and is in like, is forced to be in a sect called the Reliant Sect and the story is basically about all of his adventures in this cultivation world and the world in general and how he finds out how small he actually is compared to that world and how big everything turns out to be how insignificant others that he thought were powerful are later on and that there's always someone stronger than him that's basically what the story is about also to it's about his rise to power let's not even pretend here it you never really fear for him during the story because you know He's the protagonist and he's gonna wreck everything. That's basically how it's gonna end. But, like, why do I read it? Why do I continue reading it? That's actually quite easy, because I wanna see him wreck everyone and I wanna see exactly how he does it. And, to be honest, the story is pretty damn predictable so far. Nothing really surprised me 700 chapters in, but for some reason I can't stop reading because it's actually quite good, like the way it's built up and how references from 300 or 400 ch chapters back still are significant up to this chapter or how the author just uh, already thought about everything a long time ago. I mean, it's, it's not really... He, the author Ergen, or however the fuck you pronounce it, seriously, I don't know. Um, like, he's not really outstanding in that point, but he's doing it really well and solidly. Like, I can't complain about it. But there is something I want to complain about, and like, it's basically two different things. The first one is that the beginning is really, really, really bad. Like, especially the beginning chapters. Like, reading them is extremely cringeworthy and. Yeah, like, I know we all start out somewhere. Everyone who writes a story starts out somewhere. I don't know for, like, if he ever wrote a web novel before he did that. But, like, the beginning is really bad. But don't let that turn you off. Like, just read, like, 20 chapters in and it will get better. It will gradually get better. Like, once you notice that it's not shit anymore, just imagine that feeling, and with every passing ten chapters, yeah, it doubles. It's get, it's, yeah, it's improving at a really steady rate. Even now, it's it's getting better and better. And while I can't say the story is one of the best ones I've read, it's definitely in like top thirty or something. I would put it there, just because it's doing everything correctly. Nobody can complain about anything there. Except for my second problem, and that I don't know if I'm being too, yeah, too stingy here, or if it's just, if it's just that obvious. But there are three kinds of metaphors that are always and repeatedly 
used during the story. And not only are these metaphors by itself really bad and annoying, but they are getting used again and again and again, like, endlessly. So, yeah, they fucking annoy me. And normally, while reading, if the reading style, uh, if the writing style, sorry about that, is okay, I don't really care about what metaphors are being used, if they're repeated or something. But these ones are really bad, let me tell you about them. The first one is, yeah, for the time it takes an incense stick to burn. Yes, um, the author, when he's referring to a longer, like, passage of time and some, something being, taking a little bit longer, he always uses this kind of metaphor. Always. Sometimes it's for the time it takes two incense sticks to burn. Sometimes it's for the time time it takes half an incense stick to burn. But to be honest, even by itself that metaphor is shit and it's fucking annoying me. I've read it I don't know how many thousands of times now in the past few weeks and No, just no. The second metaphor he uses over and over again is this one. Describing this took a long time, but all of this actually happened in an instant. Yes, I am serious. While this is not the worst kind of metaphor you can use, like you can use it once, twice, maybe ten times throughout a hundred chapters, this gets used over and over again as well, like... Obviously it's getting used to describe something that actually happened in an instant, like like it actually says. Why It's also breaking the fourth wall, kinda, which isn't a problem I personally have with stories normally, like... I don't mind, like, I really don't mind. But... It gets overused as hell. I'm pretty sure I've read it more than 2000 times so far. That's, that's just not good, like seriously, like you should never use a metaphor that often, ever. And the third metaphor is, in the time it takes for a spark to fly off a piece of flint. Yes! A piece of flint and a spark. It's actually not that fast, but yeah, it's also used to describe an instant or something that's happening really damn fast. <sighs> Yeah, another thing he's using, by the way, is, for example, in the space of 10 breaths, in the space of 90 breaths, stuff like that. But it, it's not as annoying as these three, and it's not as overused. Like, <laughs> I really hope when you read this, you won't find these metaphors as annoying as I find them, because... It kind of impedes your reading experience a little bit, but I have to say, even though these three metaphors annoy the hell out of me, I love it. Like, seriously. It's weird, but just give it a chance. Like, I'll leave a link to Wuxia Worldwide uh, getting translated by Deathblade in the description below, and you can check it out. The, uh, the translations are really damn fast, like, you won't have to wait for long, and it's mostly, like, one or even more chapters every day, so, holy shit, it's fast, and it's up to, like, chapter 780 or something right now, like, no, 750. Yeah, I don't remember the exact number, but just check it out, and I'm pretty sure if you like any kind of fighting, or characters growing stronger, characters being badasses, you will enjoy it. The only thing that you might not enjoy is these metaphors, or that the half of the villains are always people who just think of them as higher than other people because their cultivation base is a little bit stronger and they disregard everyone beneath them and are extremely stuck up. But there are also good villains in there. and. Seeing people that are just assholes and idiots and stuck up and think they're higher than everyone else when they're just bugs, insects, like, worthless, getting trampled upon by the protagonist in a really weird way, it's kind of fun. It really is. Just check it out. 
So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want me to talk about any other stories, even though I still have a lot that you guys recommended me, like then just, you know, leave me, like leave in the name in the comments or with a link where I can read it or something. And yeah, I personally don't often read Xiangxia novels, but when I do, I read a heck of a lot of chapters, thousands of them normally. Like that was the time with Coiling Dragon. So anyway, I if you didn't like this video for some reason, then just ignore it or something. So yeah, if you want me to do this more often, just tell me. See you guys next time. Bye.